This presentation will take you through how to use the DMAT software. The DMAT software works in three simple steps. First of all, you log into the software and use the DMAT to observe someone living with dementia at a meal time and record your observations of their eating difficulties. Secondly, based on your observations, the software will generate a selection of practical and cost-effective interventions. You then choose the interventions you wish to try. Thirdly, the software will generate a care plan based on the identified eating difficulties and chosen interventions. The care plan will be saved on the software and can be downloaded, printed and shared with your teams. Let's now look at each of these steps in more detail. Once logged into the software, you go through three simple steps to create an individualised care plan. Enter the results from your observation onto the software measurement form, which is exactly the same as the paper version you just used. Just simply tick the boxes again and once completed, click next. The software will now present you with the eating difficulty you identified and a list of potential interventions for you to try. Once again, you simply tick the box of the intervention you wish to try. Different eating difficulties will have different amounts of interventions available to choose from. In the example here, the eating difficulty identified was incorrectly uses cutlery, and there are nine interventions to choose from. You can choose any combination of interventions, but you cannot choose more than two interventions at a time. This is so you do not overcomplicate things for the individual. For example, if you try several interventions at once, you may not be able to tell which one was effective. It is best to choose interventions starting at number one and working upwards. The first set of suggested interventions are less complex than the later choices and are usually more cost effective. The later suggested interventions may require organisational changes or changes to catering requirements, for example. Of course, if you have already tried the first few suggested interventions, then choose one of the later interventions to start with. Once you have chosen your interventions, you then click Next. After you click Next, the software will automatically generate a care plan. The care plan will detail the eating difficulty you have identified, the frequency it was observed, for example, whether it was seen once or more frequently, and the interventions that are to be tried. This will be viewed in an easy to read table format. The care plan is split into the four sections found on the initial measurement form to help with implementation. The care plan will be saved on the DMAT system for future reference and you can also download, print and share the care plan with your colleagues. It is recommended to use the DMAT monthly or fortnightly if you have concerns about the individual. You do not need to complete the DMAT more often as it will take time for the interventions you put in place to have an effect. The aim of the DMAT is to decrease the amount of eating difficulties observed at mealtimes. Therefore, you should see a reduction in eating difficulties if the interventions you have chosen are effective. You can compare previous care plans and results to measure these outcomes. Decreasing eating difficulties has been shown to increase the independence and nutritional intake of the individual and improve their quality of life. You may also see an increase in food consumption, less need for nutritional supplements, increased weight or BMI, less reliance on staff help to eat at mealtimes, and improved behaviour. The DMAT is based on research evidence, guideline best practice, and clinical experience. It has an easy interface and navigation system to help simplify the nutritional care process. The DMAT's purpose is to support carers with practical, cost-effective interventions, with simple ways to measure outcomes built into the system. Hopefully, the DMAT will help to provide a simple solution to a chronic and complex problem in dementia care. Thank you for listening. The input from care staff using the DMAT is highly valued, so if you have any questions, do not hesitate to get in contact. I hope you enjoy using the DMAT and finding a useful addition to your caring skills.